welcome back to Alex Elite Golf and welcome to the channel if you're a brand new viewer. Don't forget to subscribe and give all this content a thumbs up. So today's video is all about the three killer moves that's going to cause you a fat shot, okay? So we're not going to offer a fix today, we're going to offer a kind of a, maybe a general fix at the end, you'll have to wait and see to watch the whole video, but we're going to talk about three moves that could be causing you to fat the golf ball and catch this ground before the golf ball. We all know with an iron, we want to have that bottom of the arc happening past the golf ball, and we want that ball and turf impact to really see some nice crisp noises, crisp strikes, and some good golf shots out on the golf course. So let's get into it. First killer move for me is, is when people address this golf ball, and imagine now I had a line dissecting my body here. So a line through me, line through the middle of my stance, um, and I see the first killer move is that when people sway off this golf ball, that there's a lot of lateral movement during the backswing, not a turn, a lot of lateral movement. So imagine my hips here, there's a lot of bumping of these hips behind the golf ball. Then from here, they don't get the weight onto the lead side. The weight stays behind the golf ball, moving their bottom of the arc behind the golf ball, causing them to catch this ground before the golf ball, causing those fat shots. So first one killer move would be the sway during the backswing and the not moving back onto the left side would be the first killer move in terms of how people are hitting these fat shots, okay? And I think a lot of people that kind of resonate with that is a lot of people would sway, and not turn the top of their backswing. So if you're a person that does sway, I would feel like you're trying to feel like you're turning a little bit more during that backswing and you kind of were stood in a box there, okay? The second killer move for me is when people feel like they get this early release in the downswing. So, and this comes from a bad kind of like palmy grip. We're not going into what the palmy grip is, but ultimately, if you've got a palmy grip, is you, it's very, very hard for you to hinge this golf club correctly like this. Whereas if it's palmy, it's very, very hard. To now do it not palmy very very easy to hinge this golf club or easier i should say so imagine you've got that palmy grip in transition it's very very hard for you to hold and hinge these wrists without any load you see this move here so this early release so this golf club is early releasing the bottom of the arc is now happening before the golf ball we're adding loft to the golf club and ultimately we're going to have a big, bigger chance of catching this golf club hit the ground before impact so the move would look something like this We'd see this move here. So if we look at last parallel from face on here, imagine we were analyzing your swing. Ideally, if we kind of compared it to most of the guys on European tour, we'd see at last parallel, the hands over this trail, trail leg, and we'd sort of see this position. Somewhere with an early release, we'd see the golf club down in this position here. So you can see the two differences of position if we took the freeze frames kind of at last parallel. One that we see kind of a good position, or so-called good position, to one that's an early release. And for me, this comes a lot of the time with people having that palmy grip. They can't hold that angle in their wrist due to the way they're holding the golf club. So check out my video guys on palmy grip to really see if that's you and have highlight how you can improve that golf grip. So the final killer move for how it's gonna cause you to hit these fat shots is for me, is not feeling like we're getting this weight onto this lead side in transition, into impact, and ultimately over the golf ball. If we had kind of a, a pressure plate here, or a set of scales, at impact, we'd like to see more weight on this lead side than on this trail side. And a lot of people that fat this golf shot, at some point, they've still got this weight more on their trail side. So again, if we go to the back to this bottom of the arc, where this golf club's interacting with the ground, this is moving behind the golf ball if we've not got this weight on this lead side. So the final third killer move is not getting this weight onto the lead side in transition. So what will that look like? So we'd actually really like to feel like we got into sort of this position at impact. So we've got my weight going through my left heel. There'd be more weight on this left scale than on the right. Whereas some of us are killer move and fatting it, at some point I'd see probably more weight on this right hand side. So my scales would be higher on this right than on the left for a right-handed player. And for me, if we're going back to the bottom of the arc, what we want to see, weight on the left, bottom of the arc is more likely to happen past the golf ball, downwards hit ball than turf. Whereas now if we've got the weight on the right hand side, now you can see the bottom of the arc happens before the golf ball. We've got more chance we could catch the golf ball, probably if it's a good strike we feel slightly thin, but more chance of catching this ground before the golf ball. So you can see there guys, I've got three simple killer moves that I think a lot of you will resonate if you're hitting those fat shots. So the first one was feeling like we bump these hips in the backswing and swaying it during the backswing also. Number two is that palmy grip ultimately causing that early release. So we said, ideally we'd like to see this position at last parallel, whereas early release and that palmy grip would look something like this here because we can't hold those angles. Remember, check out that video 
on palmy grip and how to grip the golf club if you're more interested in that as well. And the final one is talking about that weight distribution impact. To not get those fat shots, we felt like we have to get that weight on that lead side. Whereas a lot of people that do hit that with fat shots, ultimately that weight be on the right hand side, okay, for a right handed player. So you can see there, the common theme with those fat shots is that that bottom of the arc happening behind the golf ball, we get that turf then ball. We get that bottom of the arc happening past the golf ball now, we start to see that downward slightly angle of attack and we get that ball and turf impact. So you can see there, we really want to change it and flip on its head to what you guys are actually getting. So the fix that I'm going to offer you and the fix that I'm going to kind of, a general fix which will kind of encompass all of them, maybe not the early release, but the first and the third killer move is that I'd really want to feel like during the backswing, we got a little bit more turn. So imagine we were stood in a box here. We had a box on our right and left hip and we had this line dissecting us from left to right. I want to feel like we stay inside our box, we turn, we get that weight into the right hand side, but we don't sway into that right hand side. Very, very key. So we get that weight into the right and then as we're coming into impact, let's feel like we actually get that weight transfer happening, okay? So we get that weight into the left hand side and even out of a few practice swings, really feel like we turn and step forwards and really feel like we get that weight traveling from right to left to hopefully see that bottom of the arc happen past the golf ball. Thank you guys for watching today's video on Alex Elliott Golf. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.